Well, hello there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For real, I have sucked at YouTube. I've been trying to do it for like two years and every time I get some kind of rhythm going, I fall off the wagon and stop uploading. It's because of the editing. I hate editing, I suck at it, it takes me a really long time and I'm never happy with the end product. So, I finally have come up with a solution which is I hired someone to edit my videos for me. So now I feel a huge weight lifted off my shoulders with the whole editing part of trying to do YouTube. So now if I fall off the wagon it's because the universe truly just does not want me to be on YouTube. So that's where we're at. If you're still with me, if you're actually watching this, I feel like if I were watching me, I'd be like, this bitch gonna upload three videos and then I won't hear from her for a year. So if that's not what you said, um, or if you said that but still watched, then I'm extremely grateful to you and so I'm just gonna do like a life update, fitness and training update. I'll talk about the direction I want to go with my channel and then at the end of the video I want to show you guys some fall outfit ideas because fashion is something I want to implement more into my channel. So stick around if you're interested in one or all of those things. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by introducing myself um, in case you don't know who I am or forgot who I was since I've been MIA for a full ass year. So my name is Alexis, I am 26. I live in Denver, Colorado. I have a master's degree in social work. I moved from South Louisiana to Denver to be a social worker. Um, I worked as a social worker for two years. I I had a fitness Instagram. I was super into lifting, am super into lifting. I kind of grew my Instagram to a certain amount of followers and then people started asking me while I was a social worker, people started asking me for workouts and I didn't feel comfortable giving people workouts without being certified. So I got my personal training certification while I was working as a social worker and started to train people on the side. Um, that side business grew pretty rapidly and I reached a crossroads last year where I was like, okay, I can't take any more new clients like without sacrificing the quality of the service I provide. Um, so I either need to stop taking on clients or take the leap and quit social work. So I quit social work and I am now coaching people full time. Um, I give people customized workouts based on their goals. I give them customized macros based on their goals. I text with them on WhatsApp um, and have weekly check-ins with them, send them voice memos, things like that. So that's what I do for a living now. I always have social work to fall back on and I, really feel like my social work education and background helped me be a better coach. I learned valuable engagement skills, valuable communication skills, and also I gained a base knowledge of human psychology, which also helps a lot with coaching people. So um, I don't feel like my master's degree is really going to waste. I'm just using it in a much more indirect way. So. That's me and my job and my educational backgrounds. Updates for those of you who know me. I moved in with my boyfriend. Um, he owns this super cute condo that you see behind me. Um, you can see I've already taken over by leaving flannels in every corner of the house and house plants in every corner of the house. So yeah, I moved in. I moved in about five months ago. It has been fantastic. He, my cutie pie boyfriend is at work right now or else I would introduce you to him. I moved in with my boyfriend, got extensions. <laughs> I got these about three weeks ago. I plan on doing a video. I don't know if I'm going to do it here or on Instagram um, about like my experience with them, but um, I've always kind of 
identified with my short hair. I found that I thought it made me like slightly unique or slightly different, but the opportunity arose for me to try extensions and so I did and now I'm having so much fun that I wanna either grow my hair out or go broke from having them all the time. So now you have a housing journey, education journey, hair journey. I'm alone except for my cat and my boyfriend's dog who are heavily featured on my Instagram. I love you so much. Look at her. She looks like a little Ewok. Maya, I love you. Fitness wise, I am still lifting, still lifting heavy. I follow my own programming most of the time. Um, I'm trying a powerlifting program. I'm doing it with my boyfriend because sometimes following my own programming, although I trust it and know that it works, Sometimes it's hard to follow your own programming because, I don't know, I just get bored because I wrote it. So I thought about it, planned it, wrote it, and then to also follow it, I just get bored. And so I am challenging myself. My boyfriend and I are doing this powerlifting thing together. So I'm not gonna compete or anything. Have you, like, I'm still noodly, especially when it comes to bench. But um, my deadlift and squat have, always, have been pretty good for a while, but my bench is so bad. So I'm hoping that this program will help that. So yeah, that's my fitness thing right now. I'm doing for nutrition. First of all, I'm still vegan. I am doing a slow reverse diet. I cut down for the summer. So now I'm slowly increasing my calories over the next few months to get my caloric, my daily caloric intake much higher. So then when it comes down to cut, again for the summer my calories will be way up here so i won't have to go very low on calories i will do another video explaining reverse dieting in a much more coherent and helpful way um i also want to <clears throat> do a video explaining like metabolic adaptation um which is a fancy way to say like how your metabolism works and how you can work on it to make it faster and better. I'm gonna make like informative fitness videos, which this is a great segue. Wow, I didn't even make that segue on purpose, but this is a great segue into what I plan on doing with my channel, which is I still want it to be it to be very fitness heavy. I still wanna explain fitness topics, especially metabolism. That's something that I really have thrown myself into this last year and have been learning a lot about. It's been life-changing for myself and a lot of cl my clients that I now understand metabolism so much better and I know how to improve it. I just know a lot about it, so I wanna make videos about it. Um, I also wanna make videos about mental health. As many of you know, I struggle with anxiety and depression. I've had my own journey this year with that, but I want that to be its own video. I also have leaned, in the last year, I've leaned more into my love of fashion and creating outfits and I've put more of that content on my Instagram you guys seem to like it um, not men men don't love it but this is a ladies channel for the most part so I want to start doing like hauls and lookbooks and like outfit ideas and ways to style certain things so I want to make videos like that as well and I also want to do like more vegan stuff like vegan recipes vegan food hauls I just want to help you with your fitness with your mental health with your vegan journey if you're interested in that with your fashion journey if there are specific things you want me to cover on this channel that are uh, uh, that are under uh, that umbrella of topics I just said, let me know. Um, I also have recently picked up a hobby. I'm trying to learn how to sew. I want to be able to flip thrifted clothing and create clothing from scratch eventually. I need to remember I'm not going to become Project Runway level sewer in the next couple months. Anyways, I think that's it. Comment below if you want other things on my channel besides the things I just said. Um, and yeah. Let's get into the fall outfits. Now I have a fancy editor who, while I talk about my outfits, will put videos of me trying on these outfits in front of my face. Ready, set, go. So the first outfit you'll see is the outfit I'm currently wearing, actually. I am super into corduroy this year, and corduroy is 
back in. I don't know if you've seen an American Eagle lately, but it's packed with corduroy. Um, I got these pants from Urban Outfitters. They're very loose fitting, very comfortable, um, baggy, which I sometimes like, sometimes don't. Um, I wore it with a super tight crop top and my Doc Martens. If it's a colder fall day, you can add a flannel, you can add a sweater to make this a warmer outfit. The next outfit you will see is my new plaid pants. I got these from Garage Clothing. I was scared to order from them, but these are very, very good quality and fit me very well. I paired them with some slightly heeled ankle boots and again, that tight crop top um, with an oversized jacket. I don't know what made me think to put this jacket with these pants, but I think it works. Um, you can also put on like a long sleeve shirt or a sweater, you know, however you wanna dress it up or make it warmer. But um, I also am loving plaid pants, but I've been loving plaid pants since 2016, so that's nothing new. Um, the next outfit I'm gonna be showing you is a midi skirt um, with a slit down the middle. I found this at Marshalls and I freaking love it. There's an elastic waistband on the top as well. So um, I'm gonna be wearing that with a white turtleneck and again, my Doc Martens, those are gonna be featured with outfits far too often. I'm sorry about that, but I just love them and they go with literally everything. You can pair this skirt with any sweater, any long sleeve shirt, any crop top, like very versatile and you can also put tights under it if it's a little too cold to just be bare legged. My next outfit is going to be a corduroy skirt with just a plain white shirt and you guessed it, my docs. Um, but you can also pair it with like any shoes. I just love the look of like some a girlier piece like a skirt with my docs. It just is a good juxtaposition. I just like it. Um, so next outfit I'm going to be showing you is, oh, is my, um, Oh, this mustard yellow sweater I just got from Marshalls. Marshalls has been my place lately. Um, you can wear any color you want. This color is pretty in this fall and I've been looking for something this color and they had several different sweaters this color at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Um, I'm gonna wear this with some distressed jeans and oh my God, not my docs. Um, I'm gonna wear my white Nikes. If you can see the coffee stain on the shoelaces, please ignore. I have to spill coffee on every single white item I own. It's a rule of my existence and I cannot get past it. Oh, you're probably showing me now, hello. Um, I literally just sat while talking about those outfits and just stared at the floor and tried to remember what outfits I planned. So, so those are just a few outfit ideas. Corduroy's really in right now. That color sweater is in. Docs are always something that will pull an outfit together, I feel like, um, but any kind of military boot is good. I know that docs are pretty expensive. They do last forever though. Um, and they get cuter with age, I feel like. Like, as I get them a little scuffed, I'm like, oh, cute. Those are just a few outfit ideas for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do the thing. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe. Comment below what I should make other videos about. And that's it. Thank you so much.